Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Um, I've had a lot of requests to make a floral soap and I decided to order some new fragrances to try and one of them that I've got was Forget Me Not. So those flowers are kind of like a periwinkle blue color so I'm going to do a, a like a darker blue and then a lighter blue and a tiny bit of green for the piping only and then a little bit of yellow also for the piping and this fragrance is supposed to accelerate really quickly so I'll put the fragrance in the colorant right before I pour it so it'll probably be just something a simple pour um I don't have the fragrance description right now but I will post it on my Facebook page when I post pictures so I like I said I'm going to do kind of a royal royal blue color maybe a little peri like a little um purple mixed with a blue to kind of do like a periwinkle and then I have a couple greens to mix together and a little bit of yellow so I think that's it let's get started this fragrance is amazing it's such a good floral I was on the fence about ordering it because it said how much it accelerates but um I guess I like a challenge so I went ahead and ordered it I'm okay with acceleration I don't like the ricing is what drives me crazy so a lot of florals and um, I found a lot of like uh, fabric softener type scents seem to rice on me for some reason and soaps with well cinnamon and spicy it seems like they accelerate really quickly um, but florals in general are known to accelerate so I don't want to stick blend this too much my base is going to be white I don't know if I said that or not so I don't want a lot of the color. I need enough for the piping on the top, but um, not a ton inside the soap, just because I know I won't have a lot of time to pour. So these are the two bluish colors. And then I really just need the tiniest amount of yellow. It won't even be enough to stick blend. I'll probably just have to with micas, you can go ahead and spoon stir them if you have to. Uh, I prefer to mix all my micas in, but sometimes when you have a really tiny amount, it's hard to get your stick blender. Or you can use your little mini mixer.
and switched my camera to the other side. I was thinking maybe you could see the piping a little bit better. Um, I'm going to use, what I did was put in the royal blue and then the lighter blue in a bag with a rose tip, but it's a 101, so it's kind of a really small rose tip. I have saved way too much yellow, but this is in with a writer tip. And the green is a Will and Four, and this is for stems. And then I have a little um, leaf tip to change out, so I used a coupler for that. So um, I'm just gonna first go ahead and kind of make some stems.
back to cut this forget me not soap and I'm just loving how creamy and white it looks um, I almost added a little bit more TD because it looked a little um, more ivory but I'm glad I didn't and it actually looks like it turned out a little bit whiter the top did have a little bit of soda ash on it so I did um, steam it off with my tea kettle and the colors got much brighter when the soda ash is on the top it kind of some sometimes you probably can't tell it depends on what you have on the top but I've noticed with a little bit darker colors that you notice the soda ash more and I couldn't believe the difference in what how pale they were before and then when I went ahead and steamed them it seemed like they got so much brighter um, but the green you can see turned out um, much greener than it was yesterday and I really love how it turned out this fragrance was very weird because it seemed like it gave me time to pour and then it started thickening right when I was trying to swirl it that's pretty and um, and then I don't know if you could tell but towards the end of it end of pouring it it started to have some rising and at that point, I couldn't really stick blend it out because it was already so thick. So I kind of tried with my spatula to really stir it. And I did that a lot before I actually put it in the piping bags. Um, because if you have ricing and you try to put it in a piping bag, the tip gets a little bit um, blocked up, I guess. So um, I really like that side. It's pretty smells so good too this is a nice floral this is not like a um i don't know it's just very it's a very pretty scent and it's not overpowering um what's one thing i was gonna say when i was piping it did get clogged in the i had so much trouble from the from the beginning with the piping um the tips especially the yellow one because it was such a thin writer tip got clogged easily and then it busted through the bag so I had to change the tip in the bag um, so it was a little bit of a pain but I liked the outcome of it and I thought the color was um, turned out you know exactly what I was hoping for um, one tip one thing I've noticed um, because I add kaolin clay to my batch and I tried it when my oils were hot and I've also, I usually do it when they're cooled down like before I'm ready to make the soap but I tried it when they were so warm and I noticed not this soap but I did a little experiment um, that the soap was a little bit more grainy feeling it's not wasn't rough but it, it's hard to explain but I'm I think it's the kale and clay so if anybody notices their soap a little bit grainy that could be why um, I just thought I'd share that because it was something I thought was very weird and last bar thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video